scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode. We are here today with some very cool stuff from our spirit release. Yep. Uh, we have the Angel's Envy, finished in uh, port wine barrels. Yeah. That is exciting. Yes, it is. Um, and coming in at 43.3%. So, good tip. this is a bottle that is maybe not that rare in some areas, but it certainly is extremely rare here uh, for us. It's our first time ever getting our hands on it locally. Yeah. What's it say at the top here? Oh, from the sellers of Lincoln Henderson. Here's a trivia question. Right. Who's Lincoln Henderson? <laughs> Get right. back to us with your answers. Okay, I'm gonna just read what it says in Please. the spirit release. Should guide. I unwrap while you're doing it? Uh, I won't uncork, but yeah. Okay. So Angel's Envy Kentucky Straight Bourbon, we got this for $79.99, which in the United States is probably significantly cheaper. It's $7.99. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Move move the decimal point. Yeah. Um says a beautiful mouth-watering newcomer to the whiskey scene. I think they mean here. Yeah, I think so. But anyway. Newish. Yeah. Named for the angel's share, the portion that evaporates from the barrel during the aging process. Uh, this golden amber spirit is finished in port barrels, which explains those juicy red fruit um, notes that slide into the long finish. Look for orange peel, vanilla, and roasted nut flavor too. Rated 98 points by wow. the wine enthusiast. That's pretty good. That's a lot of points. Yeah. Do you think that's color, nose, finish, taste, and uh... That, this could be a 33.33. Yeah, it could be. Those that are new to our channel won't know what we're talking about. Okay, let's uh, pop it. Pop the top. Oh, I liked that sound. Tight pop. That was a good tight You have a nice tight cork on it. Okay, <clears throat> let's pour it up. Okay. I like the flat style bottles sometimes too. Yeah. Like this is kind of reminiscent of what they've done with the Elijah Craig's now, the flat mm. bottles. But, but what is it like? There's another one that's like that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, it doesn't, yeah. matter. doesn't matter. But it does have a unique shape and it has uh, uh, an image of your tattoo that you have on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Those wings. The wings on my. I'm gonna let it let it open up. Sure. Okay, so let's uh, let's nose this bad boy up. Now, do we know, does this have any age statement written on it anywhere or anything like that? No, <laughs> it doesn't. But it's kind of cool that it has a, uh, like all the info on the side and it has an uncork date that you can fill in your own blanks. Yeah, that's kind of thoughtful. Okay, so <coughs> this, excuse me. It has a nice kind of like mild nose on it. It's got a soft nose. Yeah, it does. This is, it's got some like um, fruity notes to it. I think that orange peel that they talked about is definitely on there. Was that what it said? Yeah. Um, it's got a little bit of those spices, vanillas, typical things in bourbon. Like it's just, it's just a soft nose so far, but it, yeah, nice, not, like a nice vanilla, like just a subtle brown sugar vanilla thing going on, but not detecting a huge amount of like rye spice on the nose yet. But you know, it could it could open up. And it's a little chilly in here, so that sometimes traps those. It's got a bit of I think like a um, biscuity thing kind of going on too. Like, yeah, for sure. But it's not like sometimes you know you you're trying to deduct what it isn't sometimes instead yeah. of what it is and i'm not getting a lot of like those clove notes no yeah it's not really like a typical bourbon nose it's a little bit fruitier a little bit softer Do you know what i'm actually getting like like birthday cake icing kind of a nose mm. a little flowery bouquet me like you which is different yeah it has like a nice kind of like everything about it seems very subtle like yeah there's a like I keep saying, like there's a little bit of this or a subtle note of that. Like is a little bit of of that like nice cinnamony kind of baking spice kind of thing, like sugar and spice yeah. kind of deal. Like maybe um. Now with the uh, finished in port wood, right? I don't know on the nose that I'm specifically getting it, but there's nothing like super whiny about it. No, just that. Yeah, <laughs> a couple of real whiners over here. Okay. All right, let's let's, let's take, take a sip. Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Oh, that's really good. It's 
to me, different on the flavor than the nose. Like it's a little bit more, I think the, the whiny pork kind of influences there, especially with the, like the instant drying effect. This is a drinker though. Like right away you can tell mm. this is uh, crushable. Mm -hmm. It's still soft. Yeah. It's still, that's like, what there's I mean. no, yeah, there's no harsh edges to it. It comes, it like, to me, it arrived like nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Like buttery. It was like buttery smooth. Mm. It's kind of got that buttery biscuit kind of thing. You know, when like the biscuits are slightly sweet almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. I just got a little bit more of a, uh, like a flowery potpourri almost mm. kind of yeah. thing. Like right at the end. Yeah. So, so far, first impression, I'm liking it. Oh yeah, it's like a 6.57 on the sweetness scale. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... And it's not as, it's not really as fruity on the palate as it is on the nose. Like, no, it's a little more drying on the palate, I find. It finishes with a little bit of a dryness for sure, and that's probably that, like, wine influence. Mmm. That is really nice. It's one, just like, it's got, like, soft vanillas and buttery notes mm -hmm. like it's uh and it's not really it finishes with just a tiny bit of of spice yeah it's but like, like a, the oak from the the barrels comes out on the finish more than it does on the like it kind of arrives soft and smooth and then the it, it, it's a good it finishes with a little bit of cat tongue yeah like yeah <laughs> total total cat tongue oh i like it mm. Mm. so if this is a common whiskey in, in the United States for cheap, like one all thing. Day. Okay, the, okay. The only one critique I'll give it, yeah, is that there's nothing booming about it. Like there isn't. No. It's not really hot. Not that you want that. It's not really spicy. It's not kind of big and bold. It's yeah. a soft, mellow drinker. It's a real good drinker. Like. It, you and I could sit down and put a real dent in that thing. So, I, and, and to that point, I think like, sometimes you're looking for a house style and I'm not sure I know right away. I mean, we just opened this, but yeah. what it could the house style of this be, you know? I like, could see like, this is a bourbon for the masses though. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the, you can't find much fault in this. Mm. You know what I mean? Even at 43.3%, like it's pretty soft. This could even be bumped up a couple of. Yeah, sure. Percentage How about points, 48? But... There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Um, so yeah, this is one that I can see why it sells out right away. Yeah. Because it's like, it's a fan favorite. Like it's just, it, I can see myself like, this would be one that you would crave. Yeah. You'd be like, totally. oh, I totally. just want a nice angel's envy. Yeah, you know? it's, it's a good one. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Perfect. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> um, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on angel's envy? Is it a... Uh, is it a treasure that should be... Maybe uh, it's a little top heavy. I don't like that, actually. Oh, a little tippy. Because like, the shoulders are, you know? Yeah. Anyway, just... Well, we'll just have to drink it down and get the lower the center <laughs> yeah, of gravity. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> cheers, everybody. Again, click like, subscribe, leave a comment.